so these were all the ones that I thinned out. It's pretty clear under there. You can see through it, mostly to allow for airflow, things like that. But you can see up top they're like getting chaotic and winding together. It's beautiful. But over here, I let them go rampant. It's a lot thicker. Lots of tomatoes for sure, but it's a lot harder to get back there to get any of the others that are turning ripe. So I have to like crawl through this little forest here. But I mean, they're not doing particularly bad. I mean, I can mostly see through it. It's just like a big mass of tomatoes. You know? Basically, this is a little easier to manage than this. But I kept it going because I just wanted to see what they would do. I put some stakes in and then there are tons of morning glory flowers. And honestly, if it weren't for them, a lot of the tomatoes would have like just fallen over by now, I'm sure. <laughs> so, they kind of are. It's mostly just harder to manage and harder to see the tomatoes as they turn ripe and harder to get to them as opposed to like these where I can just reach right in and grab them. That is harder to just reach right in. So more chance of things just falling off and going to seed again, which is also fine, but not what I'm looking for. These ones have also sprouted up over here in the grass, probably from birds picking up the fruit and it getting dropped over here. Um, but you can see they're just kind of doing their thing and intertwining. They're definitely like laying on the ground <laughs> and then climbing up. But they're vines, so it makes sense. They're pretty sturdy though, so for science. I can't really say if I'm getting more tomatoes in this thick forest as opposed to where I've thinned it out, to be honest. Um, to do a better experiment, I'd probably have to be sure all the tomato plants are the same, weigh out each yield, things like that. So this isn't the best experiment, but more of just a visual and personal test to see what I like better. And also just to see what nature does if I just let it do its thing without me interrupting. And it's pretty cool. Look at these. Look at all of this. It's so freaking cool, honestly. And they're definitely blooming and fruiting. 